Matthew 9.31 Hoide exeltantes diaphemisan autan in hale tege ekene. Jesus has healed the two blind men and told them not to tell anyone. We read, but they, and we're going to do this participle as attendant circumstance along with this indicative verb, adding in the word and, but they went forth and spread the news about him. This verb uh, right here, the lexical form is dia famizo, which means to spread news about, to proclaim news about, and it will be followed by the accusative case about whom or what one is spreading news about. So they spread news about him in all that land, right? In all that region. There's our far demonstrative pronoun, attributively modifying the dative noun there, earth or land. Here, here obviously, in the sense of region. Uh, remember, when you have the demonstrative pronoun modifying a noun attributively, the demonstrative pronoun will not have the article, and the noun it is modifying will have the article into all that land, into the whole of that land. Let's also look at this participle here, exeltantes. That's just from the lexical form ex ercomai, ex ercomai to go out. Remember the second aorist of ercomai is elthon, so the second aorist of ex ercomai is ex elthon. Right, that would be I went out or they went out. We yank off our augment. We replace it with the, what was originally there before it was augmented. We have the stem X elth. Right, that's our second era stem. X elth, second era stems use present participle endings. So that's just a second era active participle. And it's nominative masculine plural. Nominative masculine plural. And we translated it as a participle of a tenant circumstance, along with the main indicative verb, just and then adding in the word and. And notice how the article here functions like a pronoun. Rather than autoi, we have hoi, right? And we often find this in the Gospels. Rather than autos, we will have ha. So you'll have ha, hoi, ha, hoi, he, they, he, they, rather than writing out the, uh, writing out the pronoun completely. So here, now they feel like we should do the whole sentence again. Uh, and it's it's contrasting, right? This should probably be translated as an adversative because Jesus said, don't tell anyone. But they, uh, what did they do? They went out and uh, talked about him. They spread the news about him in the whole of that land or the whole of that region.